Welcome to North Coast Medical Training College, a unique college located in Bomani Village, Kikambala, location of Kilifi County. North Coast Medical Training College is situated about four kilometers from the Mombasa Kilifi Highway in a serene and evergreen environment that is very conducive for learning. I came to Kenya in 2003 to work for a Belgian organization called VVOB. As a project advisor for innovation in medical training, we implemented the project in all the public medical training colleges in Kenya. And then at the end of the project in 2010, we could all see the positive impact of what the project had done. But as you know, the public sector, it can be very challenging when it comes to embracing change. I think right now we have a very good team to expand and to grow bigger. So I'm really also looking forward to see how development will be in the company. The fact that the only three years ago we had only 20 students in this college. And now, three years down the line, we have about 250 students. I had first planned to go back to my country, the Netherlands, but something struck me in the course of my work in Kenya. I noticed that there are many Kenyans who are selfless and committed to positively change the way things were done in order to bring socio-economic change in this country. And that is what may make me stay and join hands with my fellow directors to start North Coast Medical Training College. We actually have worked with her as a part of the team uh, and engaged in uh, training for quite some time here in Kenya and actually outside Kenya. For example, we have worked with her in Tanzania, Rwanda, Zambia and South Africa. We have also had quite a, attended quite a number of international conferences to talk about this same issue of innovative training. Uh, what is clear uh, in almost all African countries is that we seem to have missed the basic philosophy about education. Uh, which can be illustrated in this simple question, if I may ask, that what do we want education to do for us? Is it to profile who is good and who is poor academically, as we do right now? Or to determine who deserves to go to a public-funded uh, institution or a well-equipped school, as we do now? Or is it to empower citizens without discrimination to be able to do what they can do best to build this country? As a country, we are still practicing the early 20th century education, purposeless rote learning, if you like. It is very wasteful and counterproductive system. In fact, our training institutions seem to be doing the opposite of what a good education system is supposed to do, develop talent, creativity, and other survival skills in the youth. We just need to be scientific in our teaching practices. As a matter of fact, education psychology tells us that there is no stupid student or clever student, but we only have slow learners and fast learners. And given patience and good guidance from a good teacher, the slow learners can become good professionals and even sometimes better than the fast learners. That is why in North Coast, we have programmed our learning in thematic ways which involves cycles of processes that can expose our students to different learning modes. Now, what are the predisposing factors of diabetes type 2? Yes, Mariam? The predisposing factors are lifestyle, age, obesity, autoimmune, genetic factor, and obesity. Many training institutions in Kenya profess to have competence-based curricula, but far from it, they are purely traditional in their design and implementation. This is for the simple reason that as a country we lack expertise and strong leadership to guide the process of change from the deeply rooted traditional to modern curriculum. Curricula in North Coast Medical Training College are purely competence-based, student-centered in approach. This is a teaching approach that electrically addresses all human expressive abilities, 